Welcome everyone to my uh, journey to 2000 ELO, where I'll be playing rapid games every day in an effort to reach 2000 ELO on chess.com. Um, also, check out my chess.com club where I will be doing uh, events such as viewer tournaments, uh, guest appearances from chess coaches and chess masters, and also blitz uh, games with me on Tuesdays and Thursday nights. If you like this, feel free to hit the like and subscribe button, and I hope you guys enjoy it. See you next time. Kind of going with the quantity or the quality here a little bit by doing three 10 minute games rather than like one or two longer games, you know. Okay. Orbit's defense. I don't see this very often. C6. Thinking just immediately challenging it is the move. Six actually, and just drop the bishop back. All right. Letter three, knight c three. He has, however, locked in his own bishop, so I'm going to keep that in mind. His, all of his pawns are on light squares, and he only has a light squared bishop left. Uh, I will have more activity with my bishop. So he might end up trying to fianchetto his light squared bishop. Probably just knight c3 here. Not too crazy. Be another boring standard London, probably. Be like, <laughs> we're already down. Almost two minutes. Yeah, alright, so here I'm probably just gonna go b3. Now he can no longer push the b pawn if his knight stays there, and then he has absolutely nowhere to go with his knight. Um, thought he was going there, but. So by going knight b6, he's giving me the e5 square, which I'll eventually take advantage of. I think this blunders anything. He has no dark square bishop anymore. And you know what? I might consider at some point. He's covering the a5 square, so I'm gonna take back with the pawn, not giving him my bishop. Yeah, my, instead of putting my queen on, probably uh, not, but it's too bad I don't have like a dark square bishop. So I'm down two minutes, and it's just the beginning of the game. <laughs> okay, now I can go rook b1. I don't know what he's planning on doing with his bishop, and this is already, like, I mean, the dude's just gone back with his knight two times now. Go just castle. Castle, um... 
tree. Again, his knight's... His, his every piece is restricted. His knight has no good squares to jump to. I guess he does have knight g4, but that doesn't really seem to do anything. His bishop's completely blocked in. He's wasted, like, moves. So... How do I make progress here? He's probably not going to castle, so I might need to blow up in the center if he's going to stay like that. I'm sure he's going to attack here. If knight e4 is threatening, knight e4 threatening, knight e6. Uh, that knight of his isn't threatening anything. The queen can't infiltrate, so this looks okay, I think. He's going to have to stop this, so maybe queen back to c7, but then it's too late. That would be a very nasty... Yeah. It's going to be very, very nasty. It won't. Looks like it's not even going to be easy for him to trade off that knight. that night we do also have maybe e4 e5 where is he going this is covered this is covered so e4 e5 we can also win a pawn but i'm not interested in that really so e4 e5 Kicking his knight, because if we go c5, as nice as that would be, having like that connect for pawn chain, this we can double up, you know, on protecting the d5, d6 square, and we're kicking away his knight. Might eventually go after his own knight here. Um, in fact, he could have gotten himself into some trouble here, because this, this knight has no escape squares. So if I could, like. So I have to be a little bit careful. First we're going to get this knight out. He's just really going for it, huh? It, this is covered. I need to get the... I need to get this knight out of here. That knight, this knight is not going anywhere soon, so we can also think about setting up our own. Mating ideas. Wait a second. Um, if we go here, we can sack the knight. I don't really want to sack that knight, but that kind of gets rid of this issue. I'm gonna... Ah, where do I line up a queen bishop battery? So he can just go g6. I'm gonna give this a shot. I don't have a lot of time. I... It's not easy for me to dislodge this knight because if I... I'd have to play f6, f3 and to do that, I have to move my own knight. And this bishop can't get to his knight. I would love to trade off the slight squared bishop now for his knight. That's his only good active piece right now. But let's see if this does something. Oh, okay. Alright, so... As long as my knight can't be dislodged. And for the moment we should be okay.
screen is really annoying now. I'm gonna just start making all right that's interesting so why I did that was because now I can go d5 takes I can take with a rook it's a that should be a blunder because if he gives away his knight, then all of his attack is over. Two rooks, or sorry, one rook for two knights is totally fine. But I am a little bit low on time. Okay. It should be pretty nasty. His king is going to be very exposed. Need to be careful. Wow. A respect resonation, that's what that is. He totally could have tried to put some pressure on me and flag me. So I got the win. Uh, took a quick look at this. I got 88.8% accuracy. My opponent got 77.6. I have no blunders, one miss, and two, two inaccuracies. Uh, they had two mistakes and five inaccuracies. So we had a London, which is the Horwitz, Horwitz defense. Ah, Horwitz defense. But c6 is not <laughs> any kind of theory, and it's actually, I think, pretty bad because they're already blocking in, like, this bishop. I challenge the center with c4, just drop back, exchange of bishops, h6, pretty typical. Knight, knight, uh, knight f6 is apparently not the move. And I played like a 2050, 2050, apparently. Kind of funny new feature of chess.com, like, making you feel good. We play knight f3, inaccuracy, and Peter likes knight d2 better instead. Yeah, I was looking at this, but, like, I don't really want to try trade off the bishop. Really? We need to. We can't go b5 because we can take with Montesson. This is better, but uh, I didn't really want to trade off my bishop, so I didn't want to let Black do anything there. Yo, this is so cold. Alright, uh. Okay, this is the right idea with our knight. Knight e4 was the best move, and then knight, um, knight e6. Oh, okay, wow. Computer wants me to go c5 right away. And this was okay. This was not the right. So, what I was looking at, for those of you who are. Um, Curious, I guess. What's this? Well, we could have taken with a king, though. That would have been an issue. Yeah, so this doesn't actually work. But if he had taken with a rook, there's this fork. But yeah, that was the wrong idea. Uh, instead, I should have just played c5. Really clamped down on the d6 square. But I didn't. Let's take with a basso. Really thrilled about that though, opening up his rook, so I kind of disagree with the computer here. Yeah, no f way. I'm sorry, but no way am I like. Like, what do I do here? You have to play so precisely. Okay. Now what? G6. Yeah. Like, this would take so much calculation to make sure that I'm not just blundering me. 
It's dead. He didn't see that I can take with a brick. If he, you know, takes back with a knight, then his attack is gone, and I'm up two knights for a brick. All right, next game. God, I feel so far away from even 1700, and I was like 1740 before. I don't know how I lost all these points. Czech Republic, Jesus. Vicky, 1566 to 11. Um, we're gonna stick to the Carcon. Bishop at five, good. Bishop check. Six or ninety-seven. Ninety-six. We can't like, gang up on this knight for the moment. I can always get a six. It's nice pin. So that's if he's not careful. I have ideas of exploiting this pin. Queen a5 check doesn't do anything because knight c3. Um, mm, mm, mm. B6. Just hitting that pop and forcing the bishop to make up its mind. I can take back with the queen, which I might prefer doing. Um, he might play h3 at some point. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Yes, eventually she can. Fifteenth, take back the queen. H three, we go back to H five. We keep that pin. Take back with the queen. Oh, shh. No, that's fine. That should be fine. My god, this is pinned. No. Oh. Now I have to be careful. Now there is this. Five is coming. Am I crazy enough to play f6? Then I can move. Like, it's not pinned anymore. Um. I might play f6 here because ordinarily the queen, you know, it's dangerous because the queen, you have all these checks, but the bishop is covering the light squares. The queen has no checks. Uh, and it stops. It really inhibits the knight, and then I might go e6, or eventually e5, so I think I'm going to do that. Now I'll just have to figure out what to do with my knight. I might go... This could totally be the...
down on time. As per usual. You can think about going rook c8, attacking c2 pawn, and probably just go to c3. Uh, yeah, e6 is probably next. Maybe knight e7, knight g6. Bishop out first to take that diagonal. here is that he can start thinking about ganging up on this weak e6 square, but I think I have to play it, get my pieces out. For the moment it should be okay because the bishop and the queen are covering it, um, but if he, now if he goes, let's see, if he goes h3, I'll go back to f5 I think because I'm hitting the queen, the bishop is defended. I think I'm gonna shut down that bishop right away. Can't block it with like knight e5. I'm missing anything here? I don't think so. I'm trying to stay up on time, just stay like somewhat equal on time. I know I could be taking more time to calculate, but um. In this knight. Is not pinned, but unless he's going to drop back to, you know, either e e2 or d1, it's not really going anywhere, which is why I feel like f6 kind of works here. And if the queen ever moves, I can snap the knight off. So the queen is kind of tied down to that d3 square. Let's see if takes, takes, uh, knight, she has knight b5. To take maybe five. You just go back, probably. C6. Work. Wondering anything here? A5 next, and then I might. Kind of setting me up for b5. b5, 97, castle. And then my knight. My knight, I think, is probably going to be going towards the g6 square. Interesting. Hey. Ah, oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I could get the queen off these, these light squares, I can I would win the knight, but unfortunately if I go bishop f5, he has queen e2. I'm funny though, because we could just go for like a forced draw. <laughs> I think that would be a draw. We'll just go back and forth. I'm probably just gonna go. Yeah, I gotta kick this knight. So because that doesn't work. A6. To c3. I should be kind of happy here. Should be okay. Because again, his knights are really restricted. Got no great squares to go to. Develop my knight. Gotta get castled here, that's for sure. <laughs> He's probably gonna look to play f3. But it's gonna go gotta develop and get castled. Then Interesting. Hmm. 
now we can go bishop f5 though, and he can't really do anything about that. Uh, so if you can yeah. hold on a sec, he can take though. Though, that is a bit risky. That could be a bit risky. Let me think for a second. Bishop f5, queen takes on g7, rook g8, can't take on the knight. No, can't take the knight, can't take the rook, can't take f uh, h7. Uh, God, I don't know if I'm going to go into that, but I don't think I have an option. This is going to be interesting. Jeez. Alright, here we go. Get ready for... At least I can castle long, like I'm ready to castle long. And this could be, and this could have, end up being turning into an attack. He is opening the G file. She is, sorry. Um, and I don't think there's trapping, I don't think the queen gets trapped. Castle long, and then we'll have doubled rooks and potential sacrifices. Because the thing is, if they if she takes on g7, rook g8, she's forced to h6, uh, and then rook g6, and all this comes with tempo. I've now just prepared my. I've now just prepared myself. Oh shit. Castle, let her take rook check, sacrifice the rook. He takes check, king back to h3. First, I might need to play Queen D3. God, that. Wish there were something there, but there's not. So I think. Castle. And then we might think of doing that same thing. The queen hopefully is on a better square now because she has access to the h2 square. Potentially, I can trap this queen. Maybe. Probably not. A minute 38 seconds, so there's not a lot of time either. This comes with tempo. If I could just get my queen to a better square. I would think about sacrificing. 
if this if, his, if her queen gets off that diagonal I can start eyeballing the d4 pawn check wish these knights were in here because this bishop would be lovely I also have bishop h3 but I'm down Queen, getting ready to double the rooks up. Queen back to h4. Over here, yeah, so now. b3. Maybe knight c6. It's, it's okay so long as it's defended by the bishop. He'd be sacking material to get rid of it. C5, god I gotta be fast here. For some bullet chess. Means going back. H5. Get out of probably queen b8 at some point just to get out of this check. So I'm okay eventually if this pawn falls, uh, if I have some sort of an attack going, but uh, they can't come with check. And they're also, she's getting lower on time. h4 is next. Rook, rook u1. Again, this is okay because you can't go g4 at the moment. They can sack, but that'd be terrible. There's nothing here at the moment. This is well defended, but there might be in the future. If I can just get my queen, uh, my king to b8, he's pretty safe there. Yeah, I'm gonna go right here, but don't have time. I can't take. Can I? Do I want to trade the queens? I don't think so. Where am I going? If not, ah, maybe coming back to c7. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Might be four threatening. No. They're lower on time, and it's a 10 minute game, so there's no increments, so I might just flag them here. Knight b4 is coming. I might just confuse them, you know. I'm gonna go for it. Queen g7. No, what am I talking about? It's covered by the bishop. was stressful and I'm pretty sure uh, they were I'm pretty sure white was winning I had a 
kind of scary attack, but if it weren't for the time trouble, I mean, I think if White had enough time to really think that through. She had, she played with 75.9% accuracy, I played with 75.8% accuracy. Um, I had four misses, four mistakes, two inaccuracies, inaccuracies, not my best game. Neither one of us had blunders. She had two misses, three mistakes, five inaccuracies. So it's just a Carl Con. Um, exchange variation. The knight on f3. Uh, played bishop g4. Spawn to the group friend. Let's sec here. Um, bishop e5 check is excellent um, knight c6 was the best move there knight, c, uh, knight d7 just didn't really seem necessary like you know if you can go knight c6 usually it's better knight b6 was a mistake not the right idea that being said it's roughly equal right now Ah, uh, I'm at least proud of finding f6, because usually this is not, you know, everyone says don't play, don't ever play f6, but, you know, calculate, because, like, don't play f6 because it opens up the light squares uh, to your king, usually, but this is taking away these, yeah, it's taking away knight, uh, knight e5, which is not good to have happen, and the queen can't infiltrate at all, there's no dark square, or sorry, no light square bishop, so, f6... E6. Okay, so now I'm starting to get the right idea, but it looks like Bishop B, uh, Bishop D6 is not the right move. Computer wants Knight E7 first, and then what? Maybe Knight G6. Like let's say they play, I don't know, Rook E1, D1. Sorry, my annotation is terrible. It is slightly getting better through annotating much more. Right here, it's Bishop. Uh, Five. Kick the queen. Let's swear, I guess. All right. Um. Yeah. The problem with this is that they have knight b5, but it's not. Apparently, it's not an amazing move. E6 is an inaccuracy. Really, really. Computer wanted me to go bishop f5. Where's the queen going next? Queen b3. E6. Come on. Like, that has to happen at some point. This is for sure a poison pond, I would say, unless I take my queen, and maybe not, but without the king being castled. Um, I am hungry. I'm going to finish this last game. Really wants bishop f5. And now, queen g3 is a great move. Uh, white has a slight advantage. They take on g7, which is the best move. Rook g8 is not the best move. Yeah, because they I missed that they could take on f6. I did all that calculating and missed that they could just take on f6. It wasn't the end of the world, but... And yeah, I should have seen this earlier, because that wins material back. As far as I can tell. What have happened if here? Yeah, g3. Bishop takes f1. Rook takes f1. King d7. What? Queen. Rook f8. Kick the queen out of there. There's no checks. Okay, that's all that happened though. I saw that, but it was later, and by that time it was kind of too late, because you've ended up playing g3. Queen 5 is a great move, at the same time it's like the only move. Okay. I'm not sure I want to go fishing for that pawn if that's what the computer wants. Um, the computer then wants h5 too, which is what I ended up doing. 
but earlier h4 takes is good knight takes king b8 boom best move no i didn't want to go for a trade of queens so i'm sorry but no 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 plus on in time trouble i feel like i played i played this pretty well like they've got four seconds left you know doing some tricky moves like threatening forks well that used to be a fork uh any, anyways cool um well, that was like a victory because I didn't lose on time for once. I actually won on time and I've been really bad with uh, my time on rapid games lately. So one more game, last game, we're at 1680. Let's keep it up, just stay concentrated. We'll play London. Harrison Jackson, 1682 from the US. It's supposed to be playing an Indian, Indian game. Pretty standard if I'm correct. Correctly. Stand time. Nothing too special. Bishop d3. He hasn't played h6, so that's one thing I'm noticing. The rook is, you know, this is still an open h file with the rook. If he doesn't play h6 eventually, that could get him into some trouble. Ship d3. Again, I just feel like I'm better here because my bishop is... I got all active pieces. His bishop is entombed. You know, I don't know why people do this a lot. Right? Really? But I think I'm going to castle the take and castle take. Knight takes, castle. That seems premature. I suppose he can pin me. That is kind of annoying. Yeah, bishop f4 is a little bit annoying. So maybe I'll take with a knight. Knight takes, knight takes. Takes, queen takes, check. This is definitely the critical, I think, move in the game. Like, I have to do something because otherwise he has the fork with e4. So either way, I either I take with a pawn or the knight. If I take with a knight, then bishop, uh, he could throw in still bishop g4, which I'm huge on. Here, I have to take with a pawn, I think. Is a bit. Thing. We could just go back. I should be two. Hang on a sec. Queen e2, pin the rook. If bishop g4, we can simply take, and we'll be up material. So if takes, takes. Uh, queen e2, knight d7, bishop f6. We're gonna go for that. Am I missing anything? Cannot protect this knight with anything else. He can't protect with a pawn. He can't get a rook over there in time. This is a light squared bishop. It's a dark square. And I'm threatening to win a piece here. I'm missing. The knight is still pinned to the king. I. I feel like this is just. Yeah, no. 
doesn't win a piece. But <laughs> he has to play. That's my king f8. So just castle. There's no need for me to get tanks to take back with the knight. I'm gonna check the castle. Castle takes takes. I just don't want to help him out by letting him take with a bishop and developing, because then he has like maybe ideas of coming over to b5. So I think I'm just gonna castle. Wait a second. Does that do anything? Rook takes on h7. Thanks, thanks. I think that's the play here. Just castles. It's down a little bit of time. I'm just trying to be precise here. Take my time, calculate. So I I have to be at least have a slight advantage here because I mean King F8, he no longer can castle, and not only that, he He's like this bishop can't come out anytime soon here. Um, I own the e file. And his king could get into some trouble. Maybe knight d4. d4, if knight e e4, we'll take with the bishop. That should go. Knight d4, that would come. this if he takes knight f5 hitting the queen where does the queen go just go to e6 so now Queen. Okay, so I think I am actually going to take. So he takes. I'll take back with the knight, but probably take the queen. I'm just thinking I would love to somehow get the dark squares, get ownership of the dark squares. This doesn't work, so if he does play a6, I have to be careful. I'm just gonna try to. I don't want the rook coming and hitting my queen, kicking it off the, kicking her off the e file. Um, eight. Okay, so let's go back. Take. Okay.
a bit faster. A little bit faster. Um, ah, just giving him 94. King H2, kick the knight out so that I'm dropping the G3 pawn. I think I can let him pop that. I should have been seeing this earlier. I should have been seeing this earlier. Can I do anything with that? That is a terrible move. Oh, wow. I might need to just trade off the queens, stop f2, because taking g3 also kicks the knight out. And for the moment I am a little bit... if he takes I should be a little bit better just because his king is... his rooks aren't connected and mine are. I have an active knight, I'll be kicking away his knight. I don't think this really does anything, because I'm going to put his play at a 4. If check, we... well, we take, but... yeah, no, there, there's no check. I think this is a good move, and... so probably queen back to g5. I might consider at some point sacking. If it the cards are right, it's in the cards. I don't know what I'm saying. this pawn. I mean, he can take. I'm not scared of one rook, but um, in the meantime, I'm just going to get my rooks more active. I don't want to play into, you know, he wants me to take, so can I force him to take me somehow? I can go. Knight is definitely pinned. It's pretty, pretty devastating. Missing something? Ah. Okay. 
careful with the blunder or anything. He played that really quickly and no reason. Like, what was his time even at? And I feel like, you know what, I won these games because I'm really trying to just take the time, calculate to my best ability. Uh, so this was another London. Everything so far is pretty standard. Like I said, up until now, I, I kind of knew that everything is not, at least not bad. Might not be the very best move, but uh, this is really standard here. Yeah, E5 seemed not right to me because I'm more developed than he is. Um, and it just seems like without being castled and pushing your pawn like that, with your queen being one of the pieces that like you could easily get into some trouble. So let's see why, because I might not have played it right. All right, so I found queen e2 is the best move. Probably the only move I'm wondering, let me see. The only good move. I mean, it's definitely by, it's by far the best. It's plus one for white with queen e2, and then knight takes e5 is 17, so it's by a large margin the best move. So I saw this, but bishop e5 is not the move, apparently. What was the move? Long castles. Okay. I was looking at that, but it's kind of like... I could see his pawns and his pieces working their way over to my king, my king side, kind of easily. Um, okay, here was long castles. Well, that's not what happened. King f8, castle short was an inaccuracy, so I went wrong by castling short, apparently. Hmm. I guess, yeah, what did I play? Yeah, because Queen F3, I think, also takes away these with the Knight G4 move. Let's see, does it, does it say why? Missed the missed an opportunity to kick the bishop. So I should kick the bishop away. You missed the chance to punish your opponent's error. You allowed the opponent to kick the bishop, which they did. Okay. 84 is a mistake. And <laughs> King, King H2 is a blunder. Yeah, because I just dropped a pawn. Wow, just a series of misses and blunders here, though. We played this not right. Everything. What does the computer want? Like, what's going on here? What are we missing? King H2 is a blunder because Knight takes, yeah. But he didn't. He played uh, King uh, Queen G4. Queen F3. King G4, Queen F3. Find the best move there. Rookie three is not ready right yet. Really? What? Hold on a sec. What? Is there a fork? Is that why? H takes. King G one. Check. God, rook h1. I don't know about this. Rook takes a. Obviously, I would sack. I think about sacking the knight to pick up the pawn. We just. Why doesn't this work? This is two rooks. Oh, because. But yeah, because you can queen with check. Oops. Okay, alright. Mmm, really don't think you would have found that though. Sacrifice his queen for that. Anyways, uh. This was a mistake. I really should have been going King G1. Yeah, what I was looking at was just queen takes, queen takes, and then. to vacate the square. Uh, but that's not what happened. They blundered. They finally took my queen, but kind of took a long time. 